Yes, that is professional, professional level motor vlogging people. Two cameras rolling today, new helmet, it's all good. Same, same old bike though, but that could be changing very soon. I'm not going to give the game away, it's going to be a surprise for you guys. But only a few days, only a few days till I get my new bike. And I know some people, especially like my friend Travis May, will be going, Oh, just tell us already. You've been talking about getting new bikes. You haven't told me what it is. Well, I'm not going to tell anybody what it is because it's a surprise. But uh, this helmet could be a good, good, good giveaway of uh, what the, the bike could be. Uh, you've seen on in, before me on Instagram, I did give out a few little clues and hints as to what the next bike would have been. E Glide, amongst you, might have spotted it. So if you did, if you did uh, work it out, good for you. Hope you enjoy the bike when I get it, because I fucking know I will. So. Uh, why, why am I getting a new bike then? Pretty much, you know, I had to sell the Nuda. As much of a good bike that was, it wasn't a very good bike in the long run. It was, um, it was gonna, it was gonna sting me eventually, and it did. Uh, I don't know how the likes of Royal Jordanian can get away with running a bike like that as much as he does, to be honest with you. Probably because he's fucking loaded. The everyday dickhead like myself, I don't think we can manage it. The, the fact that Husqvarna went under, got bought by KTM, no longer making parts, bits for the Nuda, isn't really good for Nuda owners. It's uh, a bit of a shitter, if I'm honest with you. Fuck! I needed to put my phone in my pocket and it's still in my trouser pocket. I'm just going to pull in here and fix that. Oh, gravel! Give a skid! Yeah, big skid! Um, so, I, I wish the Nuda hadn't broken down, but it was probably going to eventually. I'm not saying that like Nudas are bad, they're really good, but I don't, I don't something weird went on in my mind. So, you know, I got rid of it. I did, I did lose some money on that bike, uh, but I did manage to make my, a bit of my money back from my initial investment of that motorcycle. Plus, I just finally, after 10 months, 10 fucking months, finally got my compensation from the accident in June last year. So, got a bit of money, got a bit of money. So I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna go buy a new bike. I'm fucking super excited, let's put it that way. So, um, what's this helmet? If you didn't, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you don't know what this helmet is, it's the Bell Bullet. Uh, it is a retro style helmet, and if you ask me, it is really fucking cool. It's a bit windy, it's a bit noisy, as you might have seen them when I just said the visor, if I've got it filled with like anti-wind or wind-killing devices. So I hope the video and the audio is not too windy, I'll try, if it is that, I'm going to have to sort something out, but it's a proper cool helmet, it's super comfortable, and it looks the fucking business. And it's going to suit the bike that I'm getting fucking perfectly. I don't know if I'm going to use it as an all the time like uh, helmet because I've still got my RI and I've still got my icon of course and the icon is really good for motor vlogging uh, my RI is pretty decent as well but this is a like as a helmet to just ride around in and look like a fucking badass yeah that's the helmet one so this is like an initial test to be honest with you of like uh, how good this helmet could be as a vlogging helmet it is it is already this is the second time I've been out on it. I've went out on the bike the other night for about five minutes <laughs> just to see what it was like to wear. I, I, it is a bit windy. It's quite windy today, so that doesn't really help matters, but you know what the vision in this helmet, right? I can see if I look straight forward when I lose vision of my hand there. That's so far. The peripheral, peripheral vision is massive with this helmet. It's the most vision I've ever had of any helmet ever and the build quality is great I mean it's, it's a bell I think it's they're like 400 quid so you, you, you get what you you pay for don't you with motorbike helmet the weather the last week and a half two weeks has been fucking amazing it's actually been killing me the fact that I don't have my new motorbike I really wish I'd had it 
but I'm on my way to work now. There's only going to be me there at work today, so that's fucking awesome. I thought I'd do a little vlog for you guys, a bit of an update, I haven't done one, but I tell you now, there's going to be a lot in the coming weeks, and there's going to be a lot of cool things going on in the in the coming in the coming weeks. So you know, keep your peepers open for fucking the Fruitcake 23 videos. So excited to tell you guys about this new bike. Well, I, I, I wanted to keep it a secret. I wanted to keep some guys in in a bit of suspense because I know a lot of people will be like, "Oh, what's the new bike gonna be? Fruity, what's it gonna be?" I didn't want to just go, "I'm buying this one," and like. You know, people go, yeah, what the fuck is that? But you know, it's gonna be a surprise. It's nice to see everything growing again, isn't it? It's good to see the sun out. It's good to see the bikes out. I know it was the it was the Squires egg run yesterday, and uh, there's thousands of bikes, fucking thousands. I didn't go myself because it's not really my cup of tea, but there was a lot of fucking bikes, a lot of fucking bikes. Oh. <laughs> that is, that is. Not what you want. What the hell happened there? Shit, the bed. Wow. Holy mother of fuck. That was something. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, I'm all right. Just so you guys know, what the what the hell happened there with some gravel on this corner? Yeah, must have clipped some gravel and went off. Tried to keep it up as long as I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, let's get all this mud out. I've got half a bush in my bike. Rear, bra <laughs> Rear brakes a bit bent. That was interesting. Am I going to upload that? Hell yeah, I'm going to upload that. <laughs> How to crash an NTV 650. <sighs> that had the old adrenaline go going. I really didn't want to stare into that fucking bush. That was my main concern there. I'm all good. Right. Oh. Let's have a minute. Holy shit. That was interesting, wasn't it? That, that, ladies and gents, was fairly interesting. Have I dropped anything out of said pockets? Where did I put my phone? Phone's good, phone is good. I must have clipped a tiny bit of gravel on that corner. Let, let's go check out the scene of the crash. That went, that went super sideways. I think I might replay that in slow motion because that'll be, that'll be funny. So where did I come off? Is that a skid mark there? That, yeah, that... I mean, look at the state of the road. So I was coming in across this line here, wasn't I? And it looks like I lost traction. No, oh, there's a, there's a, there's the tire mark. Out right here, I must have lost traction and you see it's skid, it's gone wide here. And then I've bumped up. I put my foot down here. I had my foot out to try and stop myself going that way. And I've come across here. Then I went back across this way. And across here, look, you see the line here. I'm walking it now. And then I finally put it down there. <laughs> oh man. I was not expecting that this morning. 
I wonder why it won't start again. See if I can bend that back. Is my exhaust hanging off? Yeah, she's good. You can't kill an NCV650. I'm, I'm uninjured, I have. I mean, I have injured my shoe. I have injured my brand new jeans. Got, they've got a grass stain on and I put the knee pads in as well. Cause I was like, uh, I don't usually wear the knee pads in my, in my gear, but that is an advert for why you should wear the knee pads in your gear. That was fun. Uh, is the GoPro still recording here? Well, that was, that was an interesting turn of events, wasn't it? Baz and not bent, it seems. I think I'll take it easy now. The brake still works. No, the bars are slightly bent. Look, the, the paint's chipped off there. I'll sort that out when I get home. And then I nearly went head on into a tractor. Oh, it's a good day. It's a good day. I mean, these back, you've got to be careful on these back roads. I know a lot of people don't like back roads. I am a fan of the back road. That's why I take the back road. But uh, thank, thankfully back roads, you're never going that fast. And, uh, and there's always usually a nice soft grass verge, isn't there, on the side. I'd rather put, I'm glad I put it down in the grass rather than, you know, on the road. Right, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the new Hemlet. And I will catch you guys on the flip side in the next video. So I will catch you guys in a bit. Ta-ta for now.